Let's do it. Come on. From the Sony Picture Studios, this is Jeopardy! Here he is, the host of Jeopardy, Alex Trivet. Thank you very much, Johnny. Hey, it's time for Jeopardy! So good luck to all our players. Thank you, Alex, and hello, everyone. It's time now for my next game, 26. I have a $1.57 million game winning total in 25 games. 20th century authors. Gone fishing. Hmm. St. Peter. Music. And finally, all creatures great and small. Player one, <clears throat> you start us off. College memories for 200. It's the one word name for the exams you take at the end of school terms. Player one. What are finals? Exactly. College four. From the Latin for larger, it's your academic specialty. Player one. What is major? Definitely. I graduated in 2022. College movies or memory 600. You pull one of these by staying awake until dawn over a project or paper. Player one. What is an all nighter? Precisely. I, unfortunately, I never had to do that. College memories eight. Perhaps referring to the fleecing of your parents' bank account, it's the animal nickname for your diploma. Player one. What is a sheepskin? Hey, you're correct. College memories a thousand. Of magna cum laude, summa cum laude, or cum laude, it's the one that's the highest honor. Player one. What is magna cum laude? Good guess. Nope. But it's not. Didn't go five for five. For. Oh well. Player two. What is summa cum laude? And that exactly. was my second one. That was oh, my second guess. Gone fishing for two hundred. Control of thumb pressure and wrist position are keys to this motion that puts the line in the water. Player one. What is casting? Yes. Well, let's let's keep going on. Gone fishing four. In catching trout, these insects have largely given way to decorated hooks with the same name. Player one. What are flies? Exactly. Gone fishing six. Varying eye locations identify the blue, flathead, and channel types of this bottom feeder. Player one. What is catfish? Yes. Again. Jeopardy Archive, Clue History Site, useful tool for this game. Gone Fishing 800. It's the type of fishing in which bait or lures are towed behind a boat. Player one. What is trawling? I fished a it's long insane. time ago. Pick again. But I only did it just for the heck of it. Gone Fishing 1000. This prized game fish of the Great Lakes is the largest member of the pike family. Player one. What is a muskie? Hey, you're correct. All right. Uh, 20th Century Authors, 200. Danish writer Peter Hogue had a bestseller about her sense of snow. Player two, who is Smila Jasperson? Hmm. Precisely. Pick again. 20th Century Authors, for 400. Active as a lawyer from age 21, he used a dictating machine to write his Perry Mason novels. Player one. Who is Earl Stanley Gardner? Yes. To be perfectly honest, I actually remembered it just before. Kind of looked to the left. 20th Century Author 600. In this Ray Bradbury novel, Fireman Guy Montag doesn't put out fires, he starts them. Player one. What is Fahrenheit 451? Precisely. Pick again. Uh, author's eight. This Humboldt's gift author won both the Pulitzer and Nobel Prizes in 1976. Player one. Who is Saul Bellow? 
Yes. Author 2000. This British-born author penned Brideshead Revisited. Player one. Oh, shoot. Um, who is Evelyn Waugh? Precisely. Whew. That was a Again. guess. Uh, all creatures great and small, 200. The eastern diamondback species of this snake may reach a length of 8 feet. Player one. What is a rattlesnake? Hey, you're correct. Mm-hmm. All creatures great and small, 4. To put things in perspective, this colorful whale and largest mammal has a heart the size of a VW Bug. Player one. What is a blue whale? Exactly. Creature six. It's the nosy critter, also known as an ant bear. Player one. What is an anteater? Yes. All creatures, great and small, 800. Smaller ones of these birds are frequently called doves. If you'll just watch this, we'll show you the clue. Player one. What are pigeons? Exactly. Again, clue history site, very useful tool for this game. All creatures, great and small, 1,000. These dragons have been known to overpower small deer and wild pigs. If you'll just watch this, we'll show you the clue. Player one. What are Komodo dragons? Yes. I actually knew that one right away. Uh, St. Peter, 200. In Acts, Herod imprisons Peter, but one of these beings appears and frees him. Player three. What is an angel? Exactly. St. Peter for 400. As Jesus predicted, Peter did this thrice before the cock crowed twice. Player one. What is denied he knew him? What is denied him? Rather. Hey, you're correct. Yep. St. Peter 6. Peter was a fisherman on this sea when he was called from his nets by Jesus. Player one. What is the Sea of Galilee? Precisely. <coughs> St. Peter 8. According to tradition and several paintings, Peter was crucified in this unusual manner. Player 1. What is upside down? And again, Clue hey, History Site, right. very useful tool for this game. St. Peter 1000. Like Prince Charles, Peter had a brother named this, also an apostle. Player one. What is Paul? Ooh. Nope. Sorry. Player three. What is Andrew? Mm. Exactly. Oh, well. Let's go for music for 200. Inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame in 1997 was this trio, composed of Barry... Maurice and Robin. Player two? Who are the brothers Gibb? Hmm. Definitely. Music for 400. In 1960, Ray Charles had this state on his mind. Player one. What is Georgia? Exactly. Music six. This former lead singer of the police sang the line, I want my MTV on Dire Straits' Money for Nothing. Player one. Who is Sting? Hey, you're correct. 800. Answer? All right. The Daily Double. Could you make your wager, please? Okay, I don't think I'm going to go too big. I'm just going to do... 1400. 1997 marked the 35th anniversary of when Mick Jagger and this group first got together. Player one. Who are the Rolling Stones? Precisely. All right. I Again. decided not to go for it because I wanted to hold back. Last one. Donald was a member of Steely Dan before joining these brothers in 1975. Player three. What are the Doobie Brothers? Hmm. Exactly.
Okay, that's it for the Jeopardy round. Now we're going to take a quick look at the scores. You're in first place all alone. Still, I have the lead with 13,000, 2,200 for player two, 1,400 for player three. Player three, rather. Player two has 1,400. Ladies and gentlemen, it's now time for Double Jeopardy. Here are the categories for the Double Jeopardy round. Seeing Red. Actors and Actresses. Paul, meet Paula. Hmm. Odds and ends. USA, and to complete the board, it triggered this war. Hmm. USA for 400. Aloha Tower stands at the entrance to the harbor of this city. Holy crap, if I don't get this one, I'm never going to live it down. What is Honolulu? Definitely. USA 800. The name of this South Dakota state capital isn't pronounced like a French name, but like a synonym for doc. Player one. What is Pierre? Pierre, South Dakota. Exactly. USA 1200. This monument is at the site where Colorado, Utah, Arizona, and New Mexico meet. Player one. What is the Hoover Dam? Ooh, no. No. Nope. Sorry. Player two. What is the Four Corners Monument? Hmm. Yes. Oh, that makes sense. Give me Paul, meet Paula, for 400. Better known as Crocodile Dundee, this actor began pitching the Subaru Outback in TV ads in 1995. Player one. Who is Paul Hogan? Precisely. <clears throat> Pick again. Uh, USA 1600. Rusticators are city folk with a summer address in this pine tree state. Player one. What is Maine? Hey, you're correct. USA 2000. The Tater Twister and Chip Shot are products from Presto, headquartered in Eau Claire in this state. Player three. What is Wisconsin? Mm. Precisely. That I didn't know. I'll take actors and actresses for 400. He played Rocky and Rambo. Player one. Who was Sylvester Stallone? He's the one we were looking yes. for. Yes. Uh, Palmy Paula, 800. She was once co-anchor of CBS This Morning. Player one. Who was Paula Zahn? Precisely. Pick again. Paul, 1,200? Answer? All right. The Daily Double. Could you make your wager, please? I think this time I feel like I can do it. All of it. He played Butch Cassidy. Player one. Who is Paul? Hogan. No. Oh, no. Sorry. Okay, I messed myself up. What we were looking oh, for. Oh, Paul Newman. Shoot. Well, I can build again. Paul me, Paula, 1600. She's the comedian who has written a back page column for Mother Jones magazine. Player one. Who is Paula Poundstone? Exactly. Oh well, I took a chance. It didn't work. I can build again. Paul me, Paula, 2000. He was in high school when he got his first radio job at KVOO in Tulsa. And that's the rest of the story. Player one. Who is Paul Harvey? Yes. Okay, so I took a chance on the Daily Double. It didn't work out, so I'm not going to... Uh, Hold myself responsible for that. Uh, it happens. Seeing Red 400. According to Jeff Foxworthy, if you've got more than three cousins named Bubba, you might be one of these. Player one. What is a redneck? 
And this was in the 2000 hey, College Championship in November, the one Pam Mueller won. Seeing Red 800. Anthony Kiedis and Flea of this group played in their first band together while attending LA's Fairfax High. Player one. Who are the Red Hot Chili Peppers? Definitely. Red 1200. Until 1907, this American League baseball team was nicknamed the Pilgrims. Player one. Who are the Boston Red Sox? Exactly. Red 1600. The President of the United States is the honorary chairman of this organization, founded by Clara Barton. Player one. What is the Red Cross? Hey, you're correct. Red 2000. A story by Edgar Allan Poe is called The Mask of This. Player two. What is the Red Death? Exactly. Mm, okay. Red Death. I'll take It Triggered This War for 400. The Sinking of the U.S. Battleship Maine. Player three. What is the Spanish American War? That's it. Hmm. You do know your history. It triggered this war for 800. The attack on Fort Sumter. Player two. What is the Civil War? Precisely. Pick again. Give me odds and ends for 400. The superior vena cava transports blood from the head, neck, chest, and arms to this organ. Player one. What is the heart? Yes. It triggered this war, 1200. Answer? Okay. A daily double. Well, you know what? You make your way to please. I was bit before, but I'm going to try it again. All. The abduction of Helen by Paris. Player one. What is the Trojan War? Trojan War. Exactly. There we go. Made up for it. Now well, somewhat. Trigger the Swarth 1600. The assassination of Archduke Franz Ferdinand. Player oh. Two, what is World War One? Yep. Hey, you're correct. But again, Clue History Site, very useful it tool for this, this game. War for 2000. The 1982 invasion of the Malvinas Islands, as the invaders called them. Player One. What is the Falkland Islands War? Exactly. Mm hmm. I'll take Oz and Ends 800. The Ross Sea, which reaches far into this icy continent, is the southernmost bay of the Pacific. Player one. What is Antarctica? Yep. Hey, you're correct. Oz and Ends 12. Olympic wrestling style in which the wrestlers are forbidden to use their legs. Player one. What is sumo? No, that's not no. right. Sorry. Player three. What is Greco-Roman wrestling? Oh. Exactly. Give me actors and actresses for 800. She was Scarlett O'Hara. Player three. Who is Vivian Lee? Oh, of course. Yes, it was her. So pick again. Actors and actresses for 1,200. In Fast Times at Ridgemont High, he played the goofball named Spicoli. Player one. Who is Sean Penn? Precisely. Pick again. Ozzy has 1600. Composer baptized with the given names Johannes, Chrysostomus, Wolfgangus, Theophilus. Player one. Who is Mozart? Hey, you're correct. Yes. Uh, Oz and 2000. Hang 10 and head on over to a real lighthouse in Santa Cruz, California, home to a museum devoted to this sport. Player one. What is surfing? Exactly. Uh, actors and actresses, 2000. She was bewitching as Samantha Stevens on TV. Player three. Who is Elizabeth Montgomery? Yes. Hmm. Now the last one. Off the round. 
You could call this actor Uncle Jed or Barnaby Jones. Don't know this one. Player three. Who is Walter Brennan? Ooh. Nope, not Sorry. Walter Brennan. Nobody? I was going to win this one regardless. What we were looking for... It's Buddy is Epson. This. Okay. So after one mishap on a Daily Double that cost me everything, I kind of outsmarted myself, but still. Don't hold it against me. I came back and made this a runaway. They're both at 7,000, but it's over for them. It's final Jeopardy time. Once I give you the category, you'll have just a few seconds to decide on your wager. And it is... US, U.S. military. military. Go ahead. Make your wager. And again, Clue History site, very useful Player tool two, here. Your wager, please. So I'm not going to win as much Player as I three, thought I was going to, wager, but still. Please. I made it a runaway. Please That's all that wager. matters. So I'm just going to go 7,600. Here's the final Jeopardy answer. Good luck. Thank you. This group that first met in 1942 didn't get a permanent chairman until 1949. I honestly don't know. Let's see how everyone did. Your question. The Joint Chiefs of Staff? Right. It is the and Joint the Chiefs of Staff. Player three. The U.S. Air Force. Your question. Sorry. No. Nope. Incorrect. How much did it cost you? Everything. Player one. I wasn't able to Your come question? up with anything. Sorry, that's incorrect. How much did it cost you? 7,600. 14,800, but I still win. Congratulations to our big winner. Player one. Thanks for playing Jeopardy. Come back and see us again real soon, won't you? Bye, Alex. 1,584,800. So that was kind of a close call there, but you know what? That's all right. I'm okay with it. So that's all for this game. Maybe not as much as I was hoping I would, but still. I got it. I got the win. That's all that matters. So quite honestly, I'm okay with it. I didn't go completely crazy. So, anyway guys, thanks for watching. And remember, subscribe, and we'll see you all for the next game, Game 27.